Yo, in this video I'll be explaining how you can begin to silence your mind, how you can begin to quieten them thoughts down. I feel like this is one of the most transformative practices, techniques that you can do that will literally bleed into all the different areas of life. It will influence and transform your life more than any other thing that I know. Simply learning to silence your mind. It is that powerful. However, most of us in the state of humanity, we are stuck at the level of mind. We are overrun by thinking, negative thoughts, anxiety, depression, stress, whatever it might be. Our minds run on autopilot and we believe everything that's going on in here. It is such a powerful beast to tame. But the good news is, with techniques, with awareness, we can begin to conquer it, right? We, we can begin to take our power back. This is the main purpose of the spiritual path, is to conquer the mind. But like I said, it's a great beast and we need techniques. Hence the reason I want to share this with you. But before I get to that, I just want to share some of the benefits of the reason you must do this. So I measure spiritual growth upon how quiet someone's mind is. That's just my criteria for it. The more quiet my mind is, the more I know I'm aligning with consciousness. The more I know I'm beyond thought. When my mind is overrun with thinking, I know I'm losing. <laughs> I'm out of alignment. I'm not aligned with my true self anymore. I've fallen to the level of ego. So it's a clear indicator that we can all use. When you're overthinking, you're out of alignment. When your mind is clear, you're in alignment. Simple. The reason I say this is one of the most transformative practices that you can do is because I feel like it heals and clears and develops you on the main three levels of transformation, which is mind, body, spirit. So obviously it changes you on the level of mind because you're not having any thoughts. You're not being overrun with thinking. It heals you and develops you on the level of body because when we talk about body, we're talking a lot about emotions. So when you start to clear your mind, a lot of emotions are gonna be felt and they're gonna to try to take you over. But if you can hold that clear mind, you'll start to integrate them negative emotions. So I'm not saying we repress or suppress or try to ignore how we're feeling. We feel it, but we still do not allow the feeling to influence our thoughts. We don't allow the feeling to take over our mind. Okay, we've developed enough consciousness and awareness to hold that silence, to actually command the space, take ownership of it. And the third level spirit, obviously, the more clear your mind, the more you've transcended it. When you've transcended it, you are aligning with consciousness and the highest frequencies out there, which will naturally improve your life in as many ways that you can imagine. And do not think or believe that having a quiet mind is something boring. You might think or feel, I like thinking, right? Some of us do like thinking. Or if I stop using my mind, if I have a silent mind, then I won't be able to think. That's just your mind tricking you into not doing this exercise. In fact, the more quiet your mind is, the more effective you will be. I dare say you'll be 10 times, 20 times more effective because you won't be overrun by like I said, negative thought patterns, negative emotions. You'll have eventually reclaimed that energy, integrated it, and now have so much more power, focus, to direct into whatever you're doing, whether you're working, playing a sport, interacting with someone, working out, reading a book, following your passion, whatever it is, you'll be more dialed in. You'll be 10 times more effective. Okay, so the benefits, like I said, will bleed into every single thing that you do. You'll stop being a slave to your lower self. But like anything, this requires practice. But if you're willing and committed, trust me, over time, this practice will reap the benefits. It'll pay you back a hundred times more than what you've put into it. And now I want to share with you this practice. It's very, very simple. It's just a meditation that I recommend you do at least twice a day. To begin with, maybe start 10 minutes on the morning, 10 minutes on the evening. But it's important that you commit to it and you practice it every single day if you want to get these benefits. Well, all you're going to do is you're going to go quiet in your meditation, close your eyes, 
And you're going to have to use willpower at the beginning for this. And through sheer willpower, I want you to just hold a silent mind. Just through sheer will. This is quite tiring, as you're going to find out. That's why I say start with just 10 minutes. When you lose your train of thought, bring it back. Just hold a clear mind with sheer willpower. Every time you lose it, keep bringing it back. There's a couple of things you can do to help you along the way, if you need to. You can use an anchor such as your breath. You can focus on your breath. Or what I like to do is just focus on a certain part of my body, maybe a chakra point. You can focus on your third eye, your heart center, or any chakra that you want. But just keep it simple, right? Focus on your breath or a part of your body if you need to. Keep bringing your attention back through sheer willpower. Like I said, at the beginning it will be tiring. So what happens over time? I don't know if your willpower gets stronger or you just naturally start to align with these higher frequencies. But when practiced consistently, you won't need as much willpower to keep your mind silent. You'll find it easier. You'll go longer in your meditations and the silence will continue for longer, right? And you just keep practicing it. You start extending the amounts of time that you're sitting for. Really the goal is to just sit for 20, 25 minutes in the morning, in the evening with a completely silent mind and just watch how that transforms your life. See how you reclaim so much more power that you were giving away to your lower self, to your negative emotions, unconscious behaviors and patterns. All of that stuff will come back to you. And like I said, it will revolutionize your life and change you in ways that you don't even know about. But it takes commitment, it takes work. I trust you all have that. You're willing and you're committed to do it. And um, final point I would say is that you can use binaural beats, but at the same time, don't use anything guided. Keep it simple, right? You might just want to listen to a frequency. That's about as far as I would go when it comes to listening to something. But just commit to it. Honestly, if you can do this for a couple of weeks, you are going to experience some shifts, okay? you're gonna to start to transcend your mind. Do the work. But that is everything I have to talk about in this video. If you have anything to add, any questions, any advice for other people, I'd really love to hear it. Please hit me up in the comments. Otherwise, if you did enjoy the video, if you could please go ahead, give it a like, share, subscribe. It really does help me out. Check out my book. I'll put a link in the description if you haven't already. But until next time, remember to keep living free and being free. Peace.